basically people just do a lot of the same shit I do. And I'm just like, can you not? Like I'm right, I'm already, I already exist. Like why would you just wanna, it's so weird. I decided I would start with one of the craziest ones. This one was by far one of the most expensive and hard to track down. Also one of the older ones. But I remember seeing that Billy wear this outfit like six months ago, probably. And I remember being like, oh, wow, that is so cool. No one on earth could pull that off the way that she does. And I think that was really when I started falling in love with her style like so much and how daring she was and also how she really took away all like gender roles to style, which I think is the coolest thing ever. And from then on, I was just like very, very, very obsessed. Actually, I'm friends with the owner of the company that makes this stuff, Freak City LA. I've been wearing Freak City LA forever. They also own the Louis Bodega here. So I've shot some stuff there. Elijah shot a music video there. Thankfully, I was lucky enough to be able to just text them and have them like make me one Just love a little moment where I get to like use my followers for fucking cool shit But just because they made it for me doesn't mean they didn't fucking charge me and this was like 500 bucks I always wonder if Billy pays for her shit. Did Billy pay $500 for this? Like probably not You know if you look at me and you don't know if I'm rich now you do. Billy paired this with these like grape Air Max 97 shoes that are like teal and purple and I probably never would have wore this with these But that's what I think is so cool about her style is everything she does is very fucking unexpected And not like most people and that's why she's gonna hate this video because it's me just copying her <laughs> But I probably wouldn't normally wear them together I probably wouldn't even wear the pantsuit as a whole I because I'm a whore I would probably wear this crew neck with like biker shorts or like these pants with like a bodysuit This is gonna be the most modest I've ever looked in a YouTube video, <laughs> but also uh, while picking out these shoes I found out that I have a giant ass cock. They didn't have these shoes in my size and they only had them in a men's size 8 and I was like, oh my god, I'm just a little girl. Like, they're not gonna fit me. Like, I'm just a little dainty girl. And Amari and I have this whole conversation where he's like, Tana, you think your feet are smaller than they are? Like, they're gonna fit you. It's a men's 8. Like, just get it, whatever. And then they get here and they, like, perfectly fucking fit and I just, like, have a giant cock and I'm so pissed about it. And I'm about to wear this shit to Target, <laughs> which... It's definitely gonna be interesting grocery shopping like buying hummus in this. That's the point of this video I wanted to wear the crazy shit that Billy wears in my mundane boring ass fucking day-to-day -day life So yeah, let's wear this shit to fucking target bro I actually really want to swear less in this video so that it stays monetized because I literally spent my entire bank account on this video These shoes are squeaky me just walking by Gucci slides as I'm bitching about not having any money. I'm so and supreme pants and Yeezys. I'm literally the most annoying bitch I know. I'm also wearing a wet bikini under this because I went swimming earlier and I was too lazy to change it. So if that doesn't make me single-handedly the most disgusting bitch on this planet, I don't know what does. And now you guys know how my pussy feels, which is like a little moist. I'm not really living for that. Damn, I just said I wouldn't swear and now I'm talking to my pussy. Oh my god, what the fuck are those shoes? <laughs> Hello? I don't know, you know. The outfit's cute though. That's what she wore with it. Oh, you just don't like the shoes in general? They have good qualities, but they're goofy looking. What are you wearing to Target? <laughs> uh, I mean, the same thing. I definitely feel cooler in this though. Like, I feel richer. We should go to Walmart. Yeah, we really should go. This is such a Walmart outfit. People would either be like, oh, she got it from Walmart, or like, why is Jeffree Star here? <laughs> Ashley's fucking outfit right now. My toes just hanging out of my heels. With also not painted. And then there's me. What's your favorite color? <laughs> oh, she's also shooting right now with this wrap around. <laughs> Don't expose me. I like to stop. Oh my god, guys, people, like, fan accounts are already noticing. I posted a boomerang in this outfit and people are already noticing. I'm nervous. Guys, I didn't th okay, like, I know I'm wearing, like, a full-blown, like, money suit, but I'm literally not even inside of Target yet. I'm on, like, <laughs> five dirty looks and I'm so shocked. I think that guy just recorded me. Is it that bad? Oh, <laughs> fuck. I mean, his outfit's goofy too, so. We're like going down the escalator right now, and the people over there are giving me the dirtiest fucking looks. And I'm so. Like, I get it. It's a money printed tracksuit, and I look fucking insane. But I did not think I'd be in Target for 10 minutes getting dirty looks like this. I'm actually like ashamed and kind of want to change. Look how normal Ashley looks too. But also, like, my tits are just out. They're probably like, okay, that's her pimp. <laughs> and that's the hooker. <laughs> Why is this the Target version? Why is it kind of cute? Okay, I'm like, this is not a daily vlog. What am I doing? 
Oh my god, hey girl. You get a poster and sticker and temporary tattoos. Like, why do I want it? Okay, guys, my feet are starting to hurt. Do you like my outfit? Billie Eilish, huh? Yeah! Go off. Yeah, actually, yeah. It's like, cool. It's okay. Rich. How much was it? Go off. Okay, out of 10. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna give this one like a 7. Oh fuck. So I'm home from Target. You guys are literally sitting on a pair of Yeezys right now on my shoe rack by my front door. Earlier I was propping you up on a box of joints, so I literally have a thousand tripods, but I just, it's never gonna happen. I'm back from Target now, it's 10 p.m. Ashley and I spent a good five hours there like normal. Uh, I guess that I, I didn't think about this with this video, that I kind of normalize outfits like this. Like to me, I'm just like, oh, it's fucking dope. There's money all over it. Like it's fucking sick, let's fucking go. I'm always constantly in surroundings where I'm very accepted for like whatever I wanna wear, like whatever I wanna do. And so walking around Target like this with so many fucking people, I haven't gotten that many dirty looks in so, 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 so long. And that's not saying a lot for me. And then on top of that, me just being like an obnoxious ass bitch that like swears way too much, like drops everything, like is so clumsy, is like freaking out over like the lollipops. Like uh, the combination of me being dressed psycho and the way I act was single-handedly so embarrassing. It's like everything I did, I was so much more cautious of being like less obnoxious. It also really made me think about the fact that like Billy does go dress like this, but even more extravagant, like chains and shit. Pretty much everywhere she goes, she's never really dressed that low key. And it made me really think about the fact that like when she's in normal settings, the way people probably look at her and like treat her. And it's very crazy that society is so progressional and like awesome and accepting, but at the same time, like not to the point that you can just wear whatever the fuck you want anywhere. Like there's still gonna be places where you get a thousand dirty looks. It also made me get recognized like 10 times more. I was taking so many fucking photos with you guys and I was like, I'm sorry, it's for a video. <laughs> but what's cool is every single one of you guys that I met where I was like, yo, I'm dressing like Billie Eilish for a week. That's why I'm dressed like this. You guys were like, yeah, it's a dope ass outfit. I didn't even think twice. Like the fact that my fan base does does breed such accepting people was so sick at the same time. Every single one of you guys I met like complimented my outfit before I even said anything and I was like, oh. But um, yeah, not to be like, this video is a social experiment. I'm gonna shut up though. There's definitely six more days of shit. So I don't wanna make this video 45 minutes long for no reason. I was just watching this Trisha Paytas video where she ate McDonald's for a week and it was literally her just going through the drive-thru every day getting an Egg McMuffin and the video was an hour long. And I was like, if that ain't fucking me. So I'm gonna go put on some different clothes now and hook up with Jake. Bye. hat is literally what I see in sleep paralysis. Like, this is so fucking ugly. I'm so glad I have a big cock Jake to give this hat to. Outfit number two. I've been planning this video for literally three months now and I bought all the shit when it was like cold outside now it's getting hot outside and I'm just walking around like hot LA while bitches are in crop tops like what's up? Um, okay. So, Billy is better than me. <laughs> And she wore this outfit with these shoes. They're the dopest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I was debating on like making them for this video and like having like a little like tan DIY moment, you know? A little DIY was like found dead or something. And then I just realized that that would literally just be like me wasting a pair of shoes and a bunch of like paint. So I decided to just wear this with like Air Forces or Vans or something like that. For a lot of the stuff in this video, I actually DM'd a lot of the companies and was like, Hey, like, I have a lot of followers. Can I wear your shit for free? And a lot of them were nice enough to give me a lot of the stuff you're about to see in the rest of this video, but <laughs> I DM the shoe company, like trying to reach out to them to like give me a pair of these shoes like for this video. And I go, hi. And they go, hi. And I go, love your stuff. Wow. And they like it. And they go, thanks. We dig it too. <laughs> And then I go, could I borrow, not even keep, like literally borrow, like bitch, I will mail them back to you. Could I borrow a pair of Ooze shoes for an upcoming video? And they, they said scene. They said Billy wore our shit and we don't fucking need your ass, Tana. And that's just, they're not wrong. And you know, if I was Scoot Apparel, I would do the same fucking thing. Yeah, I'm not, I don't have dope shoes that say my name on them on the side, which fucking sucks. And that's again, why Billy is better than me. This is so ugly on me. The mint is cute and the joggers are like, okay. Like imagine me just like. I used to wear hats all the time on my YouTube channel back in the day, literally just to cover my tracks. I would like put extensions all around my head and like have a little bun and just like put the hat on. And it was so embarrassing.
One time I was at a house party and the guy I liked was like flirting with me and he took my hat off to like flirt with me and it was just extended all around my head and needless to say, we never talked again. <laughs> And just two bros in their hats, <laughs> chilling. Relax. I told you this is a good outfit. You like the hat on my head? Like I look good in this hat. Yeah, and I was actually gonna compliment your hair too, but then I felt like it was gonna be too much. <laughs> okay. I forgot to talk about the prices of everything because I wanted to keep that up in this video. This sweatsuit was like $400, which don't get me wrong. Like it's mint, it's like cool, but like I really could have just bought like a mint sweatsuit from like Hanes. Doing this video, it's crazy to actually see how much money Billy really does spend on her clothes. Obviously she's rich as shit, but I guess because I like love her so much I just look at her as like this like humble as she's like dripped in Louis It makes no sense. I'm literally just such a stan that I'm like blind This was like 400 bucks and then this was probably like 60. Oh fuck off I guess I just want to include the prices of everything to Be able to use them as tax write-offs <laughs> Jake's also carrying a brush around for me because I can't wear hats. <laughs> uh, but now I need to put this fucking shit on. It's so much hotter outside than I thought it was today. So I haven't been wearing my fucking Billy clothes that I took my shit in. And I'm gonna piss myself. Show me how good it feels to be Billy. Come on, we're going to the Grove. Can't wait to meet a bunch of fans looking dumb as fuck. Looking like a bootleg Billy Eilish if I'm lucky. Oh, I literally could have just done this. I have to put my head on. Like, I've actually never met someone who looks so ugly in a hat. Like, hey, like Tana, like kind of cute. Like, I'm wearing no makeup today though. I think I'm bleeding down my leg right now. That's pretty hot. Tana's not here anymore, motherfuckers. Oh my God, it's so ugly. <laughs> Tell them what you just called little me. Little hat girl. Little hat girl is such a mean thing to say. Why, you're just a little girl with a little hat. At the beach. <laughs> We're at the Grove. Jake. No, you know when like moms bring their little kids to the beach and they put like little caps on them so they. That's like, what I look like yeah, right now. Look at a little baby with a cap. Hey guys, just got out of the bathroom. Um, and if you were wondering, I actually did just bleed all over my new four hundred dollars sweatsuit. So um, yeah, I love having my period. It's awesome. I totally want kids, so it totally is worth it and makes so much sense. You know that I'm just gushing blood and ruining all my expensive clothes. You know, I like want to have kids. You know, so like it makes sense. You know. This is a YouTube channel, right? This is how you do these videos where you like wear clothes for seven days, right? Like, you just like look cute. Okay, guys, it is day three. I feel like I had to pick at least one outfit that I like absolutely hated because what is like a dressing like someone for a week video if you're just wearing a fuck ton of outfits that you really like. I guess the point of this type of video is to like get out of your comfort zone or whatever. I chose this outfit and I just got my hair curled which looks so much fucking worse with this fucking bucket hat. I'm not a hat bitch really at all let alone a bucket hat bitch because I look like this. And of course, Billy can just pull off his fucking outfit absolutely perfectly, and she looks fucking great in it because she could literally wear anything. And then she's wearing this uh, free Frito shirt. I don't know who that is, but I always see Adam22 talking about freeing him, so free him. This shirt was originally $200 and then sold out because Billy. It was being resold online everywhere for like five or $600, and I had already spent way too much money on this video, so I had like a ghetto bootleg reprint website, like print this shit. But it actually looks the same, so I'm kind of impressed with that and might start doing that with expensive shirts more because I love a good finesse. My bucket hat is from Amazon. Love a good prime moment. And then and then these overalls are Joy Rich. I love Joy Rich, but I low-key think these are fucking fugly. I don't really like gold and I think this pattern looks like your grandma's couch, but again, Billy. Ah! And then she wore it with these fucking boof ass Nike slides, low-key. Sorry, Billy. It hurts me so bad to say I don't like one of her outfits. This one was actually fairly cheap. The only thing that was like expensive are these overalls, which I will definitely be selling on my Depop link below. I'm going to get a pedicure, so I thought the outfit with slides would be like perfect for that. I don't know if Billy gets pedicures. I wonder if Billy gets pedicures. With my crusty, dusty, musty ass toes in these slides, but of course Billy did not. Do you like my outfit? No, you look like a boy. You're so cute. <laughs> Oh, that's Fredo Santana on your shirt. You don't know who Fredo Santana is? No. Who is that? He's dead now, but... Oh, wait, really? Oh, shit. Sorry. I thought he was in jail. Everyone was saying, like, free him. No. You can have this after. You little hat girl. Do you no. like my outfit? Yeah, this is a lot better than the other outfit. Really? Yeah. 
That's crazy. I completely disagree. I literally think I look so fucking stupid right now. I mean, like, it looks cute. I like the little, like, rhinestone. It's like a carpet print. Oh, no. It's a carpet print. Oh, no, Love scary. being okay, carpet. I almost just asked you if you can curl your own hair. And I was like... Haley, do you like my outfit? Honestly, I do hate it. I feel like you were wearing so much worse. Did you and Ashley both say that I literally think I look so fucking stupid? No, you've definitely worn way worse. Like, wet, like... <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> something probably the $7 candle, I think. Hi. Do you like my outfit? What is it? <laughs> like literally, what are you wearing? I'm dressing as Billie Eilish for the week. This is something Billie would wear. She did wear this exactly, really? but she looked a thousand Can you times cooler. She it. looked. You look ridiculous. Oh, my phone's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's ridiculous. I think that you look like there's like this image from the early 2000s of like Justin Bieber and Britney Spears. Well, you're talking about Bieber. Justin Timberlake, but Justin go off. Justin Bieber and Britney Spears. <laughs> Plus a character from Singing in the Rain. What the fuck is Singing in the Rain? Can you give me like some 2000s <laughs> references, please? Um. <laughs> You look broke. <laughs> Anything else, Dad? Uh, I don't like it. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. I think you look really good. I think you're uh, free to wear whatever you want and just go have fun. Okay. <laughs> Dude, why do my overalls match your fucking fugly ass grandma carpet? That's yeah. the problem right now. It's a classical piece, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not a carpet. You're like, it's actually a vintage uh, TJ Maxx. And you don't get your ass off. Stand off. <laughs> Guys, like, what the fuck? Hey, Lily. <laughs> her. Look at her outfit. Lily Pad? Billy. Lily oh, Lie. Billy. You think she looks like Billy? Do I sound like Lily? Should I redo it? Take two? <laughs> I don't know, man. I think it's already fucking done now. Doesn't what even that? know I'm dressing up as Billy. I think I'm winning. I forgot to show you this, but while I'm on my phone, all of Billy's accounts are starting to notice that I'm dressing like her, and they don't know it's like for a video, so they're like, this is not it, I love you, but like, this ain't it, it's this. Oh my god, what is she doing? Like, they don't even know, and I'm successfully trolling all of Billy's fucking fan accounts right now. They're nothing but unstable. Bring ashtrays to the table. The only thing they share. Alexa, pause! Alexa! Pause! Hello. This video feels like it is never ending, and I think I'm realizing that committing to anything for a week is so hard for me. Speaking of committing to anything for a week being really hard for me, I'm going through a breakup right now. <laughs> And what other YouTuber would turn I dress like Billie Eilish for a week into my breakup? <laughs> so I've been like really unmotivated to film this video because I'm not that happy <laughs> of that. And I knew that editing the footage would be like me and Brad and it would make me really sad. But that rhymed. I'm a poet and I like don't even know it. But this video is also something trendy that I like want to finish right now, so I'm trying to like power through it right now. I don't know why I'm telling you any of this. Like, imagine a random person clicking on this video just because they like like Billie Eilish. <laughs> I'm like here, but I decided that for today's outfit, I would go for the most low key one and the one I would probably like wear. And I'm somehow also managing to only film myself doing this when I go to Target, but I have to go to Target. I'm wearing this two piece set from Above Heaven. What's funny actually is when I was picking up the outfits I wanted for this video, I saw this outfit and I was like, okay. That's dope. It's like really chill. It's something I would actually wear. I'm gonna throw it in there on like a day I'm feeling lazy and like actually trying to dress like Billy for a week. This hoodie was $75 and these joggers were $70. Everything Billy wears is like a subtle fucking flex because like it's just a hoodie and joggers and like it, it was $145. And then I got this beanie from a company, Fuck 12. When I was like a hood rat growing up in Vegas, I feel like all my friends and I were constantly screaming, Fuck 12. It was like my favorite thing to say. I thought I was so cool. I'm gonna wear this today and record what my friends think. Maybe try to find a boyfriend and record what he thinks. <laughs> Thought I would give you a little update mid video that you totally didn't fucking ask for and show you my outfit of the day. I also decided to put on a tennis chain because companies always send me tennis chains. <laughs> And this video is also just saying like rob me rob me rob me. It looks like Billy's wearing one in the photo I don't know if she actually is. I'm sure hers are worth more money than mine Well, that actually looks like hard with this shit though the second I like wear it with a Billy outfit I'm like, oh, but I like it. I love tennis chains. Hi But what? I don't know if she wants me to like make commentary. Mario, do you know what fuck 12 means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. police <laughs> Is it something you've ever ignorantly screamed at the police? No 
Okay. <laughs> what is it? Fuck 12 is like, it's like a ghetto way of saying like, fuck the police. Sounds like some R. Kelly shit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> Damn. Hi. Hey. It's um. fuck 12. Wow. See, that's so funny. That's all I needed. At the beginning of this video, I was saying, like, if you grew up in Vegas, you, like, know what fuck 12 means because, like, ignorant kids would always be, like, like, Isabella, can you think of the amount of times that, like, we screamed, like, fuck 12, like, while doing some, like, ignorant shit? Yeah. And they would be like, fuck 12, fuck 12. Yeah, so I just came outside and I asked Mario, like, do you know what that means? And he, like, kind of knew, but it, like, it was very evident it was something he had never screamed at the police. <laughs> and Isabella walked out here, she looked at me, she goes, fuck 12. <laughs> Love that. Vegas girls unite. You guys, I'm eating in the car right now and I just spilled so much in and out on this and I'm so high. I'm watching Chris Clemens' video with Trisha right now. I just spilled more. More. Oh my god, frick. Yeah, so I really fucked up this outfit, so. Hope you enjoyed it. Just now, at I can't find the avocados on Instagram said, Okay, Tana, when's this copying Billy for a week video coming out? Oh shit. Am I inspiring your music choices right now? No, Coachella did. <laughs> I know this literally has nothing to do with this video and like this is not a daily vlog, but I opened a brick of cheese in Target and I'm eating it as I walk around. And I just met this girl who came up to me and she was like, I don't know if anyone's ever told you, but you look a lot like Tana Mojo. Whenever someone tells me that, I'm like, damn, like I'm fucking uglier in real life. Like, yeah, there's a slight chance that like I'm prettier in real life, but like that's just not true, you know? It just has me thinking, you know? Billy. <laughs> I really don't clip my own toenails. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, I'm home now. I just took that hoodie off. Intermission, I spent $300 on an outfit and no one noticed that I was dressed like anyone except for myself. So, <laughs> I'm gonna move on to some crazier outfits after this one. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, last time I wore this hoodie, I was getting cheated on. <laughs> oh my god, I never thought this video would come to an end. This is the final Billie Eilish outfit. I am like, it's really hard for me as a YouTuber with 4 million subscribers to plan out YouTube videos. You know, um, I just, I'm just really off the cuff. I'm really spur of the moment. I'm really spontaneous, you know? Ew, you can see a dog potty pad in the back of the shot and it's upsetting me. <laughs> but I have wanted to do this video idea for six fucking months. I have been spending way too much of my money simultaneously for so fucking long. I've literally had three different boyfriends in the time of filming this video. And I am so happy to be done, holy shit. And another one of the outfits that in the very beginning inspired me to want to do this video. I'm like, Billy wore this on her 17th birthday. I know that because I'm a psychopath. She also did her hair like this, so I tried to do my hair like that, but the problem is, is that hers is like real and healthy and like eight of my tracks are probably showing right now. Ooh, there's one, there's our girl, there she is. But this outfit, was made by one of my favorite Instagram stylists and by far the one that I went back and forth with the most on an outfit for this video. It took us so long to come to the conclusion of this one because he actually does make the majority of the stuff that Billy wears. His at is at Suwu. I don't know if I can say that. Is that like gang, like it is gang affiliated, but it's also like an Instagram handle. So it's like fine, right? <laughs> I'm like, please don't put me in a scandal. Like, I'm really trying to be the only person on YouTube who isn't canceled right now. Um, but I really want this outfit to be the thumbnail, I think. So we're about to go to an abandoned zoo because Billy took a photo in this outfit on a bench and Hunter thinks he knows where a similar bench is at an abandoned zoo. So I'm gonna wear this outfit there and probably for the rest of the day. So let's go. Oh my God, this video's over. I'm so happy. I'm so excited for you guys to see this. Also keeping video ideas secrets is really hard for me and Billie Eilish's fandom has been roasting me for a solid like two months now because every time I wear one of these outfits on my Instagram story They're like you fucking copycat ass poser bitch, but they don't know that I'm filming this. I'm just excited for it to be over Okay, let's go. Hey Jordan. Hey Jenna. Take my outfit. No, I'm not talking to you. Why aren't you talking to me? Because you just yelled so loudly the whole neighborhood heard. There was, it was a bug and it wasn't even me yelling. Tana, I literally heard it from my office and the pool guy. It wasn't me yelling. It wasn't me yelling. He him in the pool and I swear to God he almost fell in. <laughs> the first thought This I is a Billie Eilish outfits video. And then the first thing I I thought was, oh my god, my puppy's in there. God. You're so fucking stupid. Your outfit is, it's fun. <laughs> 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 
closet. Anything else about my outfit? I gave you an hour to work on this bit too. It looks like a chained fence. You know Nothing what I mean? Nothing to work with. No, but like it does. It looks like a fence. Like a fence that you would put a dog in. It's kind of like you. You're like a dog in a fence. <laughs> right now. Do you like my hair? Yeah. yeah. Looks better than usual. Brennan, any final commentary on my outfit that I can use for this video so that it's yes. long enough? You look like a polar bear. <laughs> 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 the laugh track of people all laughing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? No. You look like a motherfucking uh <laughs> you look like a snowflake with the black lungs you should have <laughs> you should have stopped what you were at <laughs> you look like puffy's mom <laughs> Oh my god, guys, because I've been planning this video for six months, it's so hot outside. At least I look cute. <sighs> oh, hey. Long, Long time, time, guys. Long time, guys! Why won't you let me have the air up? Because <laughs> it's fucking cold. You're cold? Yeah, you don't feel it because you're in a polar bear costume. That's so mean. Oh shit, he said it off. Hunter brought me somewhere where there's a literal coyote. I literally want to go home. It's called a jackal. Okay, I don't fucking care what it's called. I want to go home. First of all, it's so humid outside. Look, he's coming. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Oh, he's He's so cute. Yeah, he looks like yeah. a coyote. I want to go home. Should we give him some food? Yeah, you. Oh, you <laughs> I'm wearing full blown, like, knee high socks. And I'm like thermally layered right now. Like, I'm literally, my calves are like dripping in sweat. I literally feel so disgusting. This is why I don't go outside. Get on there being so fucking earthy. No, I don't shoot for free. Earth mode. What'd you just say? I need dirt by your feet. You need dirt by my feet. Yeah. Are you gonna pick? <laughs> the second he said you need dirt by your feet, I knew he was going to like get dirt. Amazing. You're honestly one of my favorite people to exist. <laughs> we could just go to one in the dirt. Okay. When he brings dirt to you greater than paradise. This is for sure like worth it. So all you guys are idiots. <laughs> okay, all you guys are idiots. Says the person picking up dirt. Says the person working for Tana. You're working for me right now, too. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I forgot. It's so funny because Billy was just probably like out of park and someone took like an iPhone photo. Yeah. And we're like transferring dirt. Yeah, that's epic. You want to be Billy or not? <laughs> As I'm holding the camera. How do I do that? So you angle your body more? Angle my body where? This one here. Don't touch me. Okay. I actually um, really miss saying that to you. Don't touch me. Stop, stop touching me. <laughs> Alright, now put that ankle ask you up. Ankle. <laughs> Yeah, what type of face? Dude, your your vibes are making me feel high, and I'm not even high. Yeah, I'm just pointing. <laughs> so we move the dirt. Can I see the yeah. No, we're <laughs> telling you. Okay. <laughs> stop flinging dirt at me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Remember when you guys would like spit in each other's mouths? No. <laughs> Park Ranger Hunter. Yeah, we are moving the trash can. All looking and being a little Park Ranger. <laughs> Seriously, don't think. <laughs> okay. Down this way. Not touching you. You're doing great. Keep it up. 